Okay, um, I think kind of an easy mind twist in this pack. I mean, Layla's pretty good, but um, I just love to take. I love to draft big mana decks. I love to draft mind twists. You probably can't make an argument for anything besides Layla and Twist. Yeah, Layla's really good, but it's also like at the end of the day, like generic three drop fair creature. And Mind Twist is like really fun and cool and iconic, and those are the kind of cards I tend to tend to like to pick. Uh, Archon of Cruelty is a pretty good follow up to taking the Mind Twist. How does cube work? Do you have to play your matches right away? No, it's like a modern league where you can draft and then play later. Um, I think Archon is going to be our pick here. One of the, I think, I think this is the second best reanimator target after after Gristlebrand. We actually just drafted. I went two one with that the mono black reanimator deck we drafted the other day. I think we also had Mind Twist and Archon. Okay. Uh, I can take Scalding Tarn, Wishclaw Talisman. I'm not a big Talisman fan. I find that, like, especially in a reanimator, you tell like you have to like win the turn. You you tap Talisman a lot of the time. And so, like in reanimator, you're usually not winning the turn, and you just give them the talisman to find an answer to your thing. But then you can talisman again, in theory. Uh, I think I'm going to take the scalding tarn. You seem pretty good at cube. I played a ton of cube. I mean, I, I mostly just play it to have fun at this point, but I, I'm definitely experienced. I've been playing a decent amount of it this season too, more than I usually do. Um, I think Custodial Lich is pretty good. Like the problem is, like we really need like to have a lot of a lot of fast mana with Mind Twist and Lich. But if we can get like Mana Vault, uh, Grim Monolith, like all these become kind of hard castable too, which is pretty appealing. We're still off pretty early. Um, I'm not a huge Massacre Worm fan. Obviously, you can play it sometimes. Emery has some overlapping synergy in the mill package. A lot needs to go right for Emery to be good in this deck, but if Emery is good in this deck, it's like by far the highest upside card. I tend to like take the high upside cards early. Yeah, I, the Massacre Worm, like maybe even <laughs> wheels. <laughs> um, another kind of directionless pack. Mesmeric Fiend is pretty mediocre. I could take Scrubland. I could take Sphinx of the Steel Wind. I could take Inkwell Leviathan. I think I might take the Inkwell. If we, we could somehow be Tinker Reanimator with Emery, if things go super well and end up playing this card, not very likely though. That is a late Palace Jailer and a late Stoneforge Mystic. Both of these things really imply that white is open. There's also a bone shards, which goes pretty well with what we have already. Is our school scheduled today or next days? I'm the the idea is every single day at the end of the magic stream. Um, I think I have to take the palace jailer. It's just like by far the best card. And now there's a balance. Okay, white is definitely super open. White is definitely super open. Oh, I also I really actually like I really like the mind twist balance deck. Um Yeah, I haven't drafted it this season. I've drafted it in a long time. It takes it's kinda hard for it to get there, but I think I think we're gonna shift into white. No, white isn't always open now. People like people are understanding how good like mono white is. People draft it, although it is definitely super open here. I think the Resto, Resto Custodialist, Resto Palace Jailer. Sounds kind of fun. Obviously, all these creatures with the balance is kind of awkward, but uh, we may not play this card. Oh, win condition. That's that's nice. Uh, I guess. I don't think I want to play Destroy. I mean, maybe Destroy Evil is good. I don't know. I'm not sure if it is. I'll just take this. Take Takanuma. I don't think I ever want to register Intrepid Adversary. Not for me. Damnation can be good in theory and like this Mind Twist deck. Obviously we're moving away from the creatures if we do that. I think I'm going to give myself the, the outs to play that style strategy. 
This has been like easily the most directionless first pack I think we've had in these cube drafts. I kill Shilter, that is relevant. Never the, the, These two cards, I, I don't know if I've ever played either of these two cards. Maybe Helix. Okay, Stoneforge Mystic last pick, though. Stoneforge Mystic last pick. Hmm. Best card in the pack is Channel. We are so, so far away from Channel being a, a card we can play. White is really open, so we could take just take Ravages of War, and I I just I just I don't know. I'm not that excited about it. Could take him, yeah, I could take him and be Orzov. Maybe Wheel Necromancy, maybe not. It's been so weird so far. Like there's Thalia. Silly white weenies. It's also sort of Feast of Famine to go with my Stoneforge Mystic. Also, just take Underground Sea. I think there's a good chance this wheels. I'm gonna take Looting. I don't. I, we, I don't really think that we can just be Reanimator. As much as I wish we could. Okay, Mox Diamond's good with Mind Twist and Balance and him. There's also Shallow Grave. Yeah, maybe, maybe if Shallow Grave and Necromancy both wheel, we can like pivot back to Reanimator. I think that there's also Mother of Runes. There's a chance I still want to draft the Balance deck though. Mother of Runes might also wheel at this point. Okay, there's a Watery Grave, which would really facilitate a possible blue splash. I think I like the Mox Diamond. Mox Diamond is so good with uh, Balance. Because I kind of want to just be like black white, like more controlling here. Maybe maybe you play the Stoneforge Mystic if we get equipment. Maybe not. Okay, I, th I think I think keeping a blue splash open is good. And then I can get Howled Fountain, and then Scalding Tarn gets me access to. Oh, I can just take, just take Rafine's Tower. Triumph, Splash Crisp. Yeah, maybe. Oh, Crucible of Worlds can be good if, if if the if the Armageddon wheels in our balance mind twist like denial deck. Crucible does sometimes get there. I think I'm gonna take the tower though and just have dot solid mana there. Okay, then there's a super late mana vault. I I've seen this card pretty low in a lot of people's lists, but it's it's still like just like solid fast mana. And it's like pretty good to curve into Custody Lich, pretty good to curve into Palace Jailer, Mind Twist. There's, okay, there's Orzhov Signet, and then there's Corpse Dance. Signet, Signet, I think, with Mind Twist balance seems really important. Crazy how things seem to be turning around a little bit here. Uh, <laughs> probably shouldn't take Yagmas. Well, I've never cast Elspeth before. I've never cast Elspeth before. Entomb... Yagmas will can get there. This card doesn't seem very good, right? We have like no three drops. Yeah. yeah we opened Black Lotus in the last pack, and all of a sudden the Yagmas will is something. Okay, so there's there's Ravages of War, which I think I think in this like in the balance deck, you're kinda happy to find one, especially if especially if the Crucible Wheels, which it maybe won't at this point. We have three artifact mana. If we get like two more, the Ravages is better. Could also take Tangle Wire. Tangle Wire is okay. Not that good though. We we have Emery plus Tangle Wire. Yeah, the Emery is actually getting closer to being playable. Yeah, I think I'll go for the Tangle Wire. Tangle Wire plus Monarch is okay. Oh, now we can take Brainstorm, which uh, we have one Fetch Land. We can take the Badlands. I think I'll take the Wasteland. Yeah, no hit up after this cube draft, I guess. Late, late Mother of Runes, I think we can take Toxic Deluge or Conceal Courtyard. I think I'll take the Courtyard, just kind of prioritize mana and hope that this last pack is open. We take Soulfire Grandmaster, and if we open a Time Walk, we're good. We can also take the Zagoth Triumph to splash Grist. Uh, this currently this is only good if we open Time Walk, and I guess if we open Time Walk, it'll be fine anyways. <laughs> uh, okay. 
Oh, I might, might actually end up playing Flicker Wisp. I'm gonna put these, like, you know, the maybes over here. None, also, none of the Reanimator cards wheel, because I, 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 I do think someone else is in Reanimator. So let me put these arc, this Archon away. Didn't open any power. Maybe get past some power. Um, we can probably play Jace. Play Jace, wheel like braids. Or oh, I should take swords. I should take swords, yeah. I missed it. I don't really recognize the art, but yeah, I'll take the swords. Because I might I might I might somehow just be black white, which would be a waste of a lot of picks, but could be okay. Uh, Prismatic Beast is very good fixing. Um, we can't currently activate Golos, but we're not that far away from being able to activate Golos. But this is probably not a great Golos deck, if such a thing exists. We have LED for Yogmoth's Will. I'm so low on playables. Yeah, our fixing is pretty good. We could just like never be a good Yogmoth's Will deck, can we? Maybe we can. If we open Demonic Tutor, it'll be fine. Yeah, I don't think we can take any lands. We already passed Tendrils. Yeah, we might be able to hardcast Archon. I'm, I'm gonna take maybe take Ophiomancer. If we get Smokestack, this will be a deck that wants Smokestack. Oh, well, there's a Tinker. Tinker's really good here. Or like good enough. We have the Ink Leviathan. Gives us some power. Makes me wish I'd taken the LED. Need like one more cheap artifact. We have four if you count Tangle Wire, three if you don't. We need more artifacts anyways if we want to play Emery. We're a little far away. There's Blightsteel. Um Blightsteel is a lot better to put in play than Inkwell. We could maybe play both. Probably just don't pass up on this gift. Okay, Spellseeker can find me. Him to Turok balance swords to plowshares. That's not too bad. Is it better than Frexian Revoker? Revoker is a cheap artifact for Emery and Spellseeker or and Tinker. If we find like Mystical Tutor 2 or Imperial Seal, this can set up Tinker. I guess no one was Reanimator, huh? Because you think Trinket Mage grabs us Mana Vault or Mox Diamond? Trinket Mage is okay. There's also Bolas in Citadel. I, man, was Reanimator just super open? I guess maybe, maybe we should have stayed the course. Can we take Brain Freeze? I know, I guess Brain Freeze is not as good with, it's not, it's not with, like, Breach. Like, but Citadel is also pretty castable in this deck. Okay, Batter Skull gets Stoneforge in there. Potentially. It's probably the worst deck I've drafted this season. I have Braids of Pheomancer. Kind of down for a braids. Braids of Emery. Have some cheap bodies. LED wield. <laughs> Am I playing anything else? Like I don't think so. Like LED LED will is not like LED breach, and you can just play those two cards together. Slideboard and lockdown. I don't know. Maybe somehow like brain freeze wheels or something. Mm, Karmic Guide might actually be okay here. I guess I, I mean, maybe not. Maybe I'm playing Restoration Angel also. This balance is looking pretty dopey, although it's maybe still fine to just jam. <laughs> just good old fair Elspeth Sun's champion. Um, Woe Strider is okay with Braids, Ophiomancer. I've like basically never cast this card. How many playables do I have? Not nearly enough. I like I've got some stuff I can. Oh, there's a. I didn't mean to cut the blight still. I'm just gonna take the clearing. Oh, deck got there. Deck totally got there. <laughs> Never mind. The deck was. The deck is actually good. Why not clearing? I, I'm not clearing because I'm like low on playables. Was the, the thinking. I really wish I had like. I guess I. So I, I have the Mox Diamond. I have one fetch land for Zagoth Triumph. That's probably not enough for Grist. I think that I don't want to play the Inkwell. 
This is, oh, this is 23. How is this 23? I thought we were doing so bad on playables. Playables maybe used a little loosely here. We have a wind con, we have uh, a <laughs> celestial colonnade. Do I play Flickerwisp? Flickerwisp is okay with Mana Vault, Tangle Wire. Oh, I, did, I missed, this also gets me Mind Twist. Yeah, the Spell Seeker is really good. I missed that I got this. Inqu yeah, Inkle sucks. I think, I, let me like not main deck this Damnation. Probably sideboard it and play the Wisp. We have a lot of, I'll get greedy and play the Wasteland. We'll just discard it to Mox Diamond, huh? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Probably just play just one island. Put an extra swamp because of him. Jester, think of a Twitch Prime. Appreciate you. Um, we're low on artifacts. Tinker, yeah. Yep, let's go. <laughs> this is, uh, I think, the worst deck I've drafted this season. I'm going to give it a D minus, which also means uh, easy trophy. Yeah, when we have uh, when we have blight still though, I don't think that we need it. I mean, we have we have like you know we can turn one Tinker in this deck if we have Mox Diamond, Mana Vault, Tinker. <laughs> uh... <laughs> That's got, that can't be that bad, huh? We have Mind Twist. I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I cut the Inkwell. I cut the Inkwell. We do have Celestial Colonnade, so. I cut the Tinker package and add the white cards. Um, I don't think so. I don't know. Like, the, the Tinker is, like, the most powerful thing this deck has. We have, we do have, like, we have a Mox Simon, Mana Vault, Orzhov Signet as like reasonable cards to sacrifice. We also have a Tangle Wire and a Batter Skull that we can get with Mystic. And we have a uh, Trinket Mage to grab with some of these cheap artifacts. But the most powerful thing this deck is doing is Tinker. And this deck is not that powerful overall. And so I think like even, even if we're like a little short on cheap artifacts, I think we just have to keep the most powerful part of the deck in, right? Oh, baby prediction <laughs> yeah if mod wants to get like a league prediction set up this isn't that bad though am i going to mind twist on turn two maybe i'll maybe i'll wait till turn three we'll see what they do yeah the, i was thinking i was thinking that emery tangle wire was fine uh but yeah, i don't think i should be playing it let me see what we draw yeah i'll just mind twist for four Do you plans to streaming Legacy? I mean, I only try to stream, you know, besides the occasional cube. No. I try to yeah, I try to do some innovating, right? And so if I ever have ideas on how to innovate in Legacy, I'll play it. But I, I, I just hate to have streamers be Spike learn something on stream. Like, even the Dark Souls stuff, I'm like, I'm not super happy with where it is at the moment. But I spent like a full month off stream practicing for the Dark Souls run. I just, it's just not my personality to... To do that kind of stuff you know this I, I think this you know maybe this like cube stuff is a little bit of an exception to that rule um, but for the most part I, I like to practice off stream and get, get things ready to go you know it, it's random Mista, just like a regular league yeah that yeah Deck's pretty good. Obviously, wish that mind twist had resolved. Although they, they did just steal a, um, <laughs> maybe they tinker this away or something. They did just steal a uh, pretty painful card. Oh yeah, I didn't play around days, huh? This card's Eldarmy's Call Raging Review, and I was not expecting that. Looks like their mana is a little all, a little all over the place. They have Omnath in their deck. It's bad. I'm going to sack this, try to find him to Turok. <laughs> yes, they can't. They So if, if they sneak attack something in right now, 
Um, if they sneak attack something in right now, then they have to tap whatever they sneak attack in. They can float. If they float mana, then they still have to tap four untapped permanents. And the only other untapped permanent will be whatever they sneak attack in. Oh, sorry. Float mana. Let the trigger resolve. Then, then sneak it. Never mind. You're right. You're right. Dang it. Which seems to be the, uh, the line here. Nice chat, right? Oh, that doesn't matter. <laughs> Joke's on you. I don't have any good cards in my library. My own nonsense. They did get rid of my Tinker. Alright, so stack the Fading Counter to Resolve first. And then I think I'm tapping my Snake so I can cast Trinket Mage, which only grabs me... Oh, it doesn't even grab me a Mox Diamond, but I'm playing Hill Giant. <laughs> Happily, happily hill gianting. Oh, sorry. I, I guess I, I could have just played the planes first. All right, hopefully they don't survive at one. Wait, wait. Is, this is Great Ogre. What's hill giant? Is hill giant four mana three three? <laughs> Before my time, huh? Okay, four mana three three. So, this is great ogre. I mean, they only had one thing to sneak in tech into play last turn. They would have they would have floated two mana. They go down to thirteen. They go down to eight. They go down to seven. Do I still have the batter skull? No. No custodial lich. I do still have palace jailer. All right, we'll get to hard casting that blight steel. Any, yeah, winter orb is in the cube. I mean, literally, what do we even do this game? Okay, we mind twisted them. They forced. They stole this, which was probably not correct. <laughs> yeah, where's our colonnade? Should leave stake to block. No, we have to take the highest upside line. Okay, they put Mox Emerald in the graveyard. Just Tangle Wire solos. No! <laughs> uh, okay. Can we draw Palace Jailer? Oh, if we draw Palace Jail, we only have six cards in the library. Uh, any tips? I assume fast mana being power one. Yeah, drafting fast mana power is obviously like what you want to do, but you know, don't do what I did and draft a super incohesive deck. You want to draft a cohesive strategy. So the problem with casting the braids is they can sack the mana vaults. Pro Steel. I mean, I cast a turn two Mind Twist for four. That's something, huh? Five cards left in our hand and our deck, though. Yeah, I can sack the wire next turn. They're gonna sack the Mana Vaults. Mana Vault couldn't solo. Maybe they suck the beast. Yeah, it's never looking too good when chat's like, maybe they make the worst line possible. I just need to mulligan, like, really aggressively to Tinker Artifact. I mean, maybe not against the Force of Negation deck, I suppose. Oh, I actually stacked it to where I have to tap a permanent here. That'll be okay. We'll be okay. We can cast everything. Um, we have four cards left in our library. Time I mentioned leaving the snake back, there's no difference in clock by leaving the snake back. I see, I see, I see. 
Do we know what's left? I know that we have a palace jailer. Hmm. There's also Bolas' Citadel, which can't sacrifice 10 relevant cards. Yeah, we have to draw like Palace Jailer this turn, and then hit for 5, then hit for 5 next turn. Oh boy, no way, we're not going to win this game. <laughs> Don't give me hope. Yeah, we could have looked. It's sometimes funny not to know. Why did they sneak attack Ulamog? They did sneak attack Ulamog, and we just tanked it like a pro. And they snuck attack a Thrag Tusk. That's why I only have three cards in my library. No way. We draw Wasteland, so if they get like Thespian Stage Pass, we just play Wasteland. We're definitely gonna trophy. We're like 100% the trophy. Dex busted. Okay, I need to I need to cut the Emery. <laughs> Can we bring in Cathar Commando? I guess. What the fuck? <laughs> Dex cracked, baby. Dex cracked. Let's get a turn one tinker. Inkwell is good against stack. I mean Inkwell is good against a lot of things. <laughs> Most a lot of nightmare of things here. Of play. All right, let's keep this. Oh fuck! <laughs> I'm losing it today. I'm totally losing it. I don't even to keep that hand. I mean, this hand's not bad. <laughs> Just misclick on the mulligan button. It says mental health cube. I don't know what direction that means. It seems like in the wrong direction. Okay, oath of druids. Okay, I'm happy we kept this hand. I'd like to retract a formal apology. So we get to go turn one Mana Vault, turn two him, and if we draw Black Source, we get to turn three Citadel. Thank you, Average Sun. No! Okay, we get to hand them out of cards in hand. Oh, you were drawing the Black Source. I'm I'm chilling, though. They've got, they've got nothing over there. They have nothing. They have nobody. Oh man, that Kadoma's reach would have been good for them. I'm just gonna get a Hallowed Fountain right now so I can F6. We're not. Or Rafine's Tower, rather. We passed the Hallowed Fountain. We are not uh, casting a creature into the Oath. We have. We have the Brutal Cathar as an answer to Oath we can draw into. And we could also just try to bowl off the Citadel and totally overwhelm them. Um, you know, Field Mancer Braids is pretty good, but again, they've got the Oath and we're, we're chilling. <laughs> they could have staged, copy something, probably too lazy. That's not fair. Why does Rackerman have Dash? <laughs> it's just so unfair. Um. So yeah, we know they have Ulamog, Thrag Tusk. Apparently Ragavan in their Oath of Druids deck. Oh, cast this. Please cast this. There's no, they're never casting it, I guess. Huh. Can Flicker Wisp the Mox? Flicker Wisp O-Ring doesn't seem like it really accomplishes much. We just play Ophiomancer and hope they hit Thrag Tusk. That's probably about where we're at. And then we can uh, Braids it up. <laughs> yes, yeah, that Braids to itself. Hmm. Align. Flicker O Ring into Cast Ball Assistant. Um, you only get three mana from this. Yeah, this is three mana. This is three mana. So we have a couple outs to this, including like Citadel into Rebuy if we find just a land. That's not it. 
Could try tanking the 20 cards again. I mean, it worked last time. Might as well get Braid's Snake while we're going, and then probably go to game three. Is Parallax wave good? No. Maybe. Maybe they'll mill themselves with the Oath. <laughs> Why did I play an Oath again? They can already Oath. I have two creatures in play. I don't know if I don't know if your suggestion was like just literally play nothing, but that also didn't seem like a a good line. Alright, let's go to game three. Why not Flicker Ulamog for a turn? Flicker Wisp returns on instep, so if I flicker Ulamog it just comes back and then nothing is different about that board. Alright. Running it back. I think of cutting a storm for Vintage Cube and adding an alternate archetype. I think a storm is fun. Um, I think it's good to have. I think, I think like, honestly, like, I personally don't enjoy, like, the super duper grindy slow games in Cube as much as I enjoy just, like, doing a bunch of dumb broken stuff really quickly. I think it's important that, like, you know, players just be able to do, at least, at least have the agency to play any of the archetypes they want. Why did I play the Oof in the first place? Stalbar. I mean, they had a they had a Ragavan. They were dashing, but I guess like I was you know I was hoping I, I saw that they had Thrag Tusk last game, so I was hoping they would like hit the Thrag Tusk and then um you know just have the Oath be not that impactful. I like Doom Dumb Broken stuff, but Storm is never that great. I've drafted plenty of very good Storm decks. I don't I don't know if I agree with that sentiment. I think it just swords the Ragavan. Oh, I should could play to enforce the negation. Hit enforce. But the next turn I can go Signet Stoneforge Mystic. Um or Signet Commando. Swords the Ragavan. Just like modern Path to Exile the Ragavan. Awesome Moss. Which uh, which deck tech was it for again? I have a hard time remembering sometimes. Blue white, awesome, awesome. Hmm. I think I like playing Braids this turn, and then I can play Palace Jailer next turn, just get the Monarch and then sack the Jailer to the the braids. Obviously, they could have more removal, but we haven't seen much removal out of them, so I think it's really likely that this just sticks and they can sack a land, and yeah, that is what happens. Could just totally steal the game here. Never want to build a cube IRL. Me and my friends have built several cubes over the years. I, I'm a big cuber. Mm, we ever, like, have a pester mite here. I'm trying to think, like, I'm trying to think of the other flash creatures I'm playing into. I'm just gonna attack. All right, they can't daze, so I will just take the monarch. Could have played around mana tithe. Not, I feel like we would have seen mana tithe though. Do I do cube decks? Um, I, for fifteen dollars, you can show me your cube deck, and I'll tell you that it looks cool. I won't give you almost any other feedback, unless there's something obvious. Oh, they could hardcast days. Sure, sure, sure. Just to consider, that's okay. Hopefully, we at least get to stone random again. Braids is really cool. It is modern legal. It is modern legal. Okay, we're one to know, baby. One to know. Eh, we've got to turn to him to Turok. Our man is pretty good. We have, you know, we can draw out of this too. Yeah, I mean, I, I've enjoyed, I've enjoyed doing the the Dark Soul stream. Obviously, it's just not taking over the main magic content, but I just, I just wish the progress was a bit faster. I'm, I, I definitely, I definitely do still feel like I'm learning, but. It just still it just still feels like we're so far away from where I wanted to be by this point. 
Oh, there's a tinker. Hey, Jim, how's it going? How do the skills of Honda's MTG translate to Souls? Not very well. <laughs> Not very well at all. Which is, again, I think, for me at least, that's a big part of the reason why I'm doing it, is, uh, is trying to get out of my comfort zone and try something new. Um... Alright, blue source. It's a white source. I don't think I'm tapping my Orzhov Signet that casts Lingering Souls this turn. Or at least I can't bring myself to do it. I've been continuing my off-stream practice. Um, some days. Like, so, like, last night I spent, like... Yesterday was such a long day. I, you know, I woke up at, like, 7 like I usually do. I did, like, an hour of prep. I did the normal, ma the normal magic stream, although it was a bit shorter into um like two hours of dark souls i had like 30 minutes of lunch 30 minutes of lunch followed by like five hours of like brewing with blood brave marauder and i was i was pretty happy with the gruel list coming into today we had maybe the deck is like mediocre but we also definitely had like a bad like string of variants probably probably somewhat mediocre um but like in, you know like <laughs> Just like those, that's always like one of the most frustrating uh, outcomes is like you know five hours of prep off stream into like just oh four on stream is just it hurts a lot. <laughs> it's just max pain <laughs> on top monolith. Well, let's see if my opponent has any counter magic. They've told me that that was their only play. The um. The Jays, we'll see. Obviously, the pets and draws too. Okay, so we can grab Mind Twist. Probably don't want to cast that balance. The best balance is the one you never have to cast. Leave a mana floating here. Splinter Twin, they had a play. You could twin my own thing. <laughs> Alright, they're playing Twin Storm. Bring in Parallax Wave, which is like something against Twin. I, don't, I have Swords of Plashiers and Cathar Commando. I also have um, Custody Lich, which I have not cast this cube yet. It's my first time drafting it. It's a pretty good card. It has the word monarch on it. Yeah, but yesterday was a really long day for me. It was a really long day. I think I have to keep this on six. And as much as I, I mean, we, if only the Blight Steel is a useful card, but I, I think being able to bottom it is more important than having it just be totally dead in my hand. Turn on Jace is pretty good. Okay. They don't even get to gain any life. Um, I don't know if they're gonna take anything. If they take Batter Skull, I just get it back with Stoneforge Mystic. If they take Stoneforge Mystic, I can just cast the Batter Skull with the Mana Vault. If they take the the Mana Vault, I can Stoneforge Mystic in the Batter Skull. So I think they should probably just take nothing. Y'all remember when Stoneforge Mystic for Batter Skull was like considered too good a value play for modern? <laughs> hmm. Although I, I do also remember. Ooh, Mind Twist. Well, uh, I, this does mean I can't Batter Skull next turn, but I, I, I think yeeting their hand is pretty good. Yeah, I remember like when Cauldron was spoiled, like so many people in my chat were always going, there's no way. Dude, the hand was Black Lotus Splinter Twin. Beautiful hand. Um, there, A lot of people were saying that they did not think that uh, Cauldron would be better than Batter Skull. Alright, so let's... 
Trinket Mage for Mox, and then I guess I play the box now so that I can untap my Mana Vault. Dude, Suspicious Stowaway is really, really, really good. I've been like just, I, I think this card is probably the most underrated card in cube. I will play the Zoggoth Triumph so I don't have to tap my Mana Vault to hardcast the Badger Skull. I think that's probably, probably relevant. Like whenever I look at Suspicious Stowaway, I think it's the, I think it's the card from Shadows over Innistrad with Skulk, but it's just two mana, two one, can't be blocked, loot on damage and then it flips into un unblockable draw a card when you hit your opponent like it just it just flips here and I, I see this card going really late too i see this card going really really late yeah wharf infiltrator <laughs> funny draw What do you think of the new Elishnorn? I think it'll be extremely strong since can't be heat killed by heat binding, disables Valkyrie Archon. Yeah, so when I first saw Elishnorn, we had a whole day of me like yelling at chat that you can't play five mana, no effect creatures in modern. But like, I'll, 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 the points you're making are really good. Like, and this is something that other people have made, and I've been dwelling on it more. Like, Elishnorn almost doesn't die to anything. It doesn't get it killed by by heat, bolt, push, solitude, fury. Um, Leyline Binding, Prismatic Ending has to be X equals 5. It, it dodges... I get a Blightsteel? If you draw, like, Palace Jailer. Um, it, do it dodges almost everything. And... Uh, oh, they're getting their own? Why are they getting Palace Jailer here? They got they wanted that over Blightsteel? Because I can equip here. Equip on this. Attack for 6. They have a lot of cards. Plus cards now. Yeah, so like, yeah, it's, it, there's there's a few cards it gets hit by. Maybe Emrakul in their deck? There's, there's a few cards that it, it does get hit by, but it's, it's really not that many. It's like Terminate, Teferi Time Raveler, Counterspell. Um, are really all you have to worry about. Yeah, it's not a trinket mage. So I'm taking five, gaining six. Drown, yeah, drown, yeah. But it, it dodges a lot of stuff. It's still a five mana creature that needs other things to resolve to go well. But it, it, it is, like, I think, actually a card that you need to look at kind of closely. You could potentially Heartless Summoning it out, where, like, I don't know, I mean... I probably need to stop. I, I don't know. I, mean, I do like the Acerek deck but for the most part. Oh, why are they playing a post combat conscripts? To untap? Click? To double block. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, they drew it off Stowaway. Yeah, but they should have just cast it next turn, right? Is what I'm saying. So go. Yeah, I'm just going to. Let this happen and play my Stoneforge Mystic so I can. I guess balance then Stoneforge Mystic after the double block. Gets them down to... I have to sack a land, but then they go to one card in their hand, and then they sack their stole away. I guess, I guess they're not... Okay, yeah, I guess them just not double blocking is... On the table. Um, so why don't I just go... Cast Stoneforge Mystic, balance their hand empty, then I sack a land, probably just basic island. We mind twisted our opponent for three, we hem to Turok them, and we balance three cards out of their hand. Here's the Emrakul again. <laughs> Weird game. They still have the Monarch though. Monarch plus Suspicious still away. It's a pretty good combo. Oh yeah, we were able to balance away the twin. Okay, let's untap the um, the Mana Vault, I guess. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's the same game where we mind twisted them. Batter Skull just solos. I don't know what to say. Wow, they're they're letting me take the monarch so that they can draw to twin, I guess. And the spell. They've discarded that twin they've discarded twin twice, but they've shuffled it back in twice also. <laughs> Maybe we should have attacked with the Stoneforge Mystic to guarantee the Monarch, actually. Does the new Elish Norn affect Shocklands? Um, uh, uh, Shocklands are not uh, triggers. Yeah, I think we attack with the Stoneforge so we can... Well, maybe I'm actually more interested in getting that Conscripts off the table so they can't twin me. Actually, they, I think that that's true. I don't want to give them this block. I'm okay, I'm okay with this. We were at one life earlier this game, too. Strike down one mountain and another takes its place. Yeah, they got they got. I mean, Palace really did it strong them like six cards, but they would have won if they got the blight still. I think. Uh. We're sacking swamp. Minival lets me cast like Bolas and Citadel and stuff. Value, damn it. <laughs> Um, I think I'll trade Goblin for Braids if they want. Could maybe equipped over onto Braids. It's not really doing very much at this point, though. They're down to four. They're down to four. They get to double loot, though. They've drawn so they've drawn so many big cards this game. I guess I need to not be F6 because I can put Batter Skull back into play, maybe. It's probably not, whatever this is, probably is not that good for me. Is it upheaval? They would have attacked first if it was upheaval. Ritual. God, weirdly fine. <laughs> weirdly fine. I don't know that they could attack. So, I don't have my swords of plowshares. Not that I would want them to gain that much life. I don't have my palace jailer. Why do we use the vault instead? Um, I, ca I can't put the batter skull back into play this turn unless I use the vault. Draw Lich. Called Shot. So now I Lich and then they... Well, I guess they sacrificed the... Stole away, huh? But then we get to attack them down to one. And we're the Monarch. And we have three attackers, and we're at 21, and... Yeah, they probably can't even attack with Ulamog. This would be a, another crazy game to win. Just like, you know, our deck's pretty bad, so any, any game is a crazy game, huh? So if they attack with Ulamog, we just sack Mana Vault three lands. Of cards in my library. Dang it. Ugh. Okay, game three. Game three. Their deck seems a little disfocused, though. I don't know. They have Black Lotus. Uh, yeah. Just so for fast tinker. Fun game. Long, long matches so far.
Yeah, I guess Paralux Wave is actually... Yeah, I guess like the sneak attack through the breach stuff is not that bad. Let's keep this. Lingering Souls are way to victory. I think I'm gonna play Colonnade on turn one and then... Likely just discarding Rafine's Tower no matter what with the Mox Diamond is fixing. Maybe we'll just rip Tinker off the top. I haven't really seen them have like many answers to a Blight Steel, right? So maybe I'll just Blight Steel if I draw Tinker. Yeah, I think I'm just discarding Tower no matter what. Wave seems real bad. No, Wave is good against like the twin combo. Wave is good against uh, Sneak Attack, Ulamog, Through the Breach, Ulamog. Dark Ritual, Fable of the Mirror Breaker, wow. Or Pyretic Ritual, Fable. Yeah, you think you've seen everything. All right, I think we just Swords, him. Let's go to Click Mountain. So we draw land, we can go Tango Wire Souls. It's like saying delay is a good thing. You're going to play another and come back. I mean, it buys a lot of time. So we can go Trinket Mage, Tangle Wire, Lingering. It's, sorry, Trinket Mage, Mana Vault, Tangle Wire. And then Flashback Souls next turn. And have the slowest Celestial Colonnade ever, which is every Celestial Colonnade ever, maybe. I, I love Tingle Wire. If you Tingle before him, don't you up your odds of hitting gas? I don't, I, with my opponent only having two lands, and I want to wait until my opponent has like at least three lands for the, the Tingle Wire. Oh, well, I guess we're uh, stone forging. Did not draw. They might block. It's okay. They might just tap it to the uh, reflection to or to the tingle wire. They tap three lands, leave the reflection untapped. I'm kind of surprised about that. In my upkeep, I can Stoneforge Mystic put Batter Skull into play, tap the Batter Skull and the Tangle Wire to Tangle Wire's trigger, then flashback Lingering Souls. Tangle Wire is a beautiful card. It's just like so elegantly designed. The way like it looks symmetrical, but you get to tap the Tangle Wire to its own ability and you get to tick the counters in this way too. It's just, it's a special card. All right, so I think we're gonna not untap the Tingle Wire next turn. draw land, we can colonnade. If we don't, we can cast most of our spells. 4-3-1 to give it the six months. Yeah, I think I have, um, I guess I can switch just to the normal scene, but I, I think on my draft scene, I just don't have uh, notifications on for some reason. Okay. Um, I, wonder, I wonder how Tanger Wire, Tanger, Tangle Wire would be in modern. Be really fun with Goblin Engineer. I don't know if it would be too good. It's three mana. Not, a, not many or any good ways to cheat it out. Oh, man, our curve has been so nice this game. So you go Fable and Stoneforge Mystic. Chump block the germ. Yeah, they could have traded Reflection for Trinket Mage like two turns ago. They just took four extra damage. 
Yeah, they would discuss the possibility. It might be an okay. I don't know. The card's really interesting. It'd be fun. I don't know if it'd be good. I don't know if it'd be too good. Probably uh, almost definitely not too good. All right. Somehow with again the worst deck we I've drafted all season. I think. <laughs> um, I think with the worst deck all season, we are two and zero. Oh. The trophy. <laughs> Uh, 25% actually bleed on trophy. Turn 2 Tinker. Turn 2 Tinker. We have we have Blightstone in our hand, but we can get Bolas of Citadel. Imagine we draw the Mox Diamond just for turn 1 Tinker. Yeah, this has been a really needed therapeutic cube. Hmm. So against uh, a swamp, I'll play out the mana vault. Against maybe a plains, I would have held it or a mountain because they could remove the mana vault. But I think we're a little bit more worried about discard. Dark ritual. Dark ritual grief. Okay, so they can take. They they should take. They might not take tinker, I guess, because I have blight still in my hand. Yeah, they take the tinker. But now I get to mind twist their hand out of here, and then I have to contend with a grief. If I had, if these were two both swamps, I guess I would just try to bolus the citadel next turn. Instead, empty hand, Luris bone shard swamp out of there. And we have we have a decent num number of answers to this and. Obviously, the, the, our library needs to be with us, but oh, that's best draw, maybe. <laughs> One of the best draws. Maybe maybe Palace Jailer would be better, but you know, better next turn than this turn anyways. Oh, yeah, we were drawing Citadel. That's so funny. If they took Mind Twist, we'd just draw this. I guess we could Tinker a Batter Skull into play. That is, that is actually really funny. Two cards in their hand. Snuff out, unfortunately, is one of them. Although I can potentially hard cast this Batter Skull soon. Um, in fact, I can Flicker Wisp my Mana Vault this turn. Probably not Flicker Wisp anything else. Hopefully don't get soloed by Grief. I oh, wish I could cast that, but we'll just cast cast the Batter Skull, and I, I think I'm just going to leave both these back to try to double block. My life total's not that high. One card in my opponent's hand. Alright, let's take the turn off to untap this. I think with us gaining four life off this Batter Skull, if they had removal, they would have used it. We'll just go ahead and get in with both here. All right, they're on nine. Let's go on Custodial because it cleans up. That's good. I like that. Okay, so I think right now is a really good chance. I'm just like slapping the Batter Skull on the Flicker Wisp and putting my opponent to two when they have Dark Confidant in play. I think that's better than playing the Lich here, despite Lich being really good. This was their draw this turn. They didn't have removal last turn. No, they don't have removal. There's no chance. They just drew this. They didn't remove anything last turn. <laughs> Just uh, trying to make my heart stop. And they hit exactly a two off the top. That's actually really satisfying. <laughs> That's really satisfying. Um, so they just showed us Animate Dead, which makes the... Oh, we have the Commando of the main deck. Yeah, maybe our deck's just great. It would be awesome. This, this deck, when we were drafting, we were so directionless, too. We first picked the art... Uh, no, we first picked... Um, Mind twist. Then we second picked Archon. They're all over the place. Play Karma Guide Pro Black. Mm, have to pay Echo though. I I don't hate it though. It's probably something they can just like get around with their reanimation targets though. Uh, 
I'd probably get a mulligan this. If I if I had a white source, I'd maybe keep. Balance does get a bit better on the mulligan. Let's try it. Obviously, we could draw uh, Mana Vault and Custody Lich. Ooh. Okay, okay. Interesting. Um, did they keep the, those a seven card keep? Any um, any Mox Diamonds in the chat? I guess I could have played around Wasteland a bit better by playing Underground Sea, but if we draw Mana Vaults, Mox Diamond, we'll be happy. <laughs> um, okay, Our, but what do we get? Do we get um, Citadel or do we get uh, Blightsteel? I mean, they're mono black. I think I'm just gonna get blight steel. Citadel also seems pretty good. Yeah, I probably should set it up the wasteland. Loses to Lily. Yeah. Citadel could, you know, Citadel could just potentially like I had to land here, take three, fumble again next turn. They double pump, and all of a sudden I'm at like eight life. Leyline Binding better than Swords. Um, it's better than Swords when you have Domain and you're facing against a non-land permanent that um, <laughs> that uh, you can't exile with Swords. It's it's also like like Binding is I think like much better in Modern than it would be in theory in Legacy because this could actually backfire if they have a creature they can't discard. They discard Animate Dead. Um, in theory, it's better, like, because, like, Wasteland is so good against the Domain. Um, they, do, they do pretty different things. Swords is also castable on turn one, which Binding isn't. At the beginning of your instep, you may sacrifice... No! Fuck. It's not fair. Nine poison counters... You don't have to sack. You do have to sack. May! No! It's a May ability! No! It's a May! I thought for sure it was... No! <laughs> I thought for sure it was a... It was a must. Fuck. I thought 100% you had to do it. Alright, well... Let's win anyways. <laughs> no... Yeah, the card is yeah, the card's even worse even worse than I thought. Shame concede. I mean, we're really enough like not even very far behind. Okay, I'm gonna say no. <laughs> Damn it! If I tangle wire, they can they can still play a creature. Um, I guess, I guess balance is literally just Diabolic Edicts. Listen, we're, we're, yeah, we're just learning what the card does. Pitching Grief, Pitching Snuff Out. Why would they pitch Grief here? They must have something good. They take my Palace Jailer. Is that it? Okay. So by Tangle Wire, they just tap everything besides the Putrid Imp. Uh, now we're now we're super dead. <sighs> okay. Well, uh, we have game three. <laughs> <laughs> nothing could nothing we could have done this game, huh? Man, that mox that mox diamond off the top was such a gift. I just thought I just thought for sure that this you had to sacrifice the same type. Like so, like the, the like the line is like for each player who doesn't like. So I would think that that means like even if your opponent doesn't have something to sacrifice, then you have um, then you get to get them. Okay, so let me get the wasteland out of here. Maybe get another planes. 
Do I want Karmic Guide? I don't know if any of our like other spells are worse. Maybe the command. I guess the command doesn't have like almost any targets besides Animate Dead. Yeah, maybe Damnation's good too. Could see that being the case. Um, okay, we already have the Blight still in our hand. Sands doesn't have any removal. We do have Esper Triumph. I think I'm gonna mulligan. This this could be a little loosey goosey, but this this hand does seem does seem better. I think I'll play this turn one. I could honestly put back the island so that I have three black sources to cast Bolas the Citadel if I draw it. If only Spellseeker could get um if only Spellseeker could get uh Tinker, but I can get Mind Twist potentially. Oh right, they got they have Jitte, right, right, right. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, they take Spellseeker. They both should have conceded since the new year dead if I just know. I mean, obviously not. Okay, Tinker. Lich would be a good draw for next turn. Turn one Grief. <laughs> turn one Grief, Dark Confidant. Pretty freaking good. I think you discard two Swamps. Reveal Inquisition, so goodbye Tangle Wire. Not something we're gonna shed too many tears over. Yeah, best draws are Tinker, Lich. Not honestly, honestly, not too much else is crazy good beyond that. Uh, that does let us top deck Bolas the Citadel, and you know now Swords of Plashiers and stuff. They reveal another Swamp. Three cards in their hand. Jute, sure. Yeah, they might flip like Archon of Cruelty, but Jute can gain them life. I think I need to try to find something to do this turn. Let's freaking go. Now I know. Now I know. <laughs> <laughs> opponent says, don't think I can cheese twice. <laughs> Reveal a Fiomancer. They didn't play a land. I think they I think they did. Yeah, they did. They they just had one land and play before that. They kept a one lander, but they had ritual. How funny would it be if they it would be so funny if they braids again. I just just sack the white steel. <laughs> Everyone in chat would have a, a good laugh, huh? Okay, they flip a, a swamp here. Oh right, we discard. They didn't keep a one lander. We discarded two swamps with him. That's right. <laughs> That's funny. Bone shards discard Gristlebrand. Can they reanimate it? GG's. Oh man. What a league. <laughs> what a league. <sighs> oh, man. Well, we got a trophy today. Um Let's do another cube draft. I'm having a lot of fun. I'm definitely feeling the healing mental effects of cube.